finally got a lot of young ones growing up. Besides these first, let's see, eight, ten that I have, I finally got young ones up. I'm just showing you the first round that I raised. Now these guys have been out a few times already. an older hand with them. This one. And then these are the first ten that I have. They've been out. Now let's go inside and look at the other young ones. These are two South Africans. South African eggs through hatch this week. Two in here. I'll show you, baby. Anyway, two in there. Two more in here, two blacks. Oh, she won't move. There's two babies under there. Let's go up here. Up here in this corner, it's hard to see, but there's two babies up in there. The pencil egg should be hatching today, today or tomorrow. These are eggs. These are eggs. These are eggs. And these should be hatching this week also. The pencils. Let's go to the other side. Yellow babies in there. These are an eggs. Two white babies in there. One baby in there. Four to pass an egg. And these guys are eggs. And then this little guy here. There to blue bars, and then this little guy right there. Ah, see, I have two white bars, and they give you blue bars. It's not easy to get white bars Just because you have two reduced bars or two white bars, however you want to call them, doesn't necessarily mean you're always going to get white bars. Now the cock bird from the blue bar is going to carry the white bar gene or reduced bar gene, however you want to see it. And I divided one section in the loft. I separated the, I made two kit boxes in here, which I got the Budapest on the top. And I got some nuns on here, which finally got on my eggs. And these are my hens. Let me go show the cocks quickly. Now, right, once I'm done with the Hair that I have breeding now, I'm gonna put the brown ones together because then now I'm gonna go with the yellows and the browns. It's just bad when you have a lot of pigeons, you gotta breed them in sections a certain group one time and then another group another time. 